Edward J. Emerson, headquartered in Detroit, Michigan since the year 1900. We are the parent company of Granville Electric, previously known as Detroit Electric, Grande Automotive in New Orleans, Louisiana, Allure of Miami, Florida, Emerson, which is headquartered in Cleveland, Ohio, ETD Truck, headquartered in Jacksonville, Florida, Titan Truck of Toledo, Ohio, Dove Industries of Australia. Australia. Our brands have two performance divisions, E Performance and EE Sport, that provide our customers a unique experience. The year is 1939, and we have been working our way through the yearly model change for all of our divisions, which starts in May and ends in February, which is business as usual, but this year was a little different. We not only had models to spec out for proper production for our over 700,000 customers each year, we took our job a step further in this consumer-led market of auto manufacturing. We at Edward J. Emerson not only provide a vehicle, but we provide an experience. Our dedicated customers are treated to interiors that are held to a higher standard, which our customers have come to receive each time they visit our showrooms. Our current report is on our vehicle sales for the past year. 770,294 vehicles between February 1938 and 1939. Our best-selling models are the mid-size Emerson Lego sedan with 64,804 followed up by the full-size Emerson Jewel sedan at 53,399. Emerson Lark Coupe took the highest sales in its market at 52,961. Lark Compact sedan with 48,119, followed up by our own Titan truck brand 500 LT with 47,797 models sold. The mentioned vehicles were also the top selling vehicles worldwide for the last 12 months with many other models that landed on the top 50 sales list for 1938. This is a great accomplishment for our team, but most importantly, it's our dedicated customer. Our financial standing took a detour for the last couple of months due to the following situations. Model quality improvements, which included but not limited to updated interiors and exterior designs to further enhance our customer experience. This includes updated transmissions, chassis, and engines. This amount of upgrades was a contributor to our negative cash flow that lasted until February 1939. We then recovered with a profit of $14.5 million in March of 1939. More than 24 factory construction projects ranging from 1939 completion to 50 or more monthly payments to various construction companies. Our stock situation has not been favorable over the past couple of months with losses from many of the companies we have a vested interest in, which has caused an offer from the Italian car manufacturer Lancia who had interest in taking over Dodge Motor Company that we are 82% owner of this deal was turned down. The board of directors was notified of the situation. Dodge is currently turning a profit of $2.8 million per month, which its highest sales vehicle, the 1935 Dodge G1201 sports car, followed up by the 1937 Dodge Aronqua mid-size sedan and 1937 Dodge 423 full-size sedan. For the 1939, we introduced many new trims. Avron C two-wheel drive and C4 all-wheel drive trucks. 
the Avron CS and CS4 with softer seat materials, including leather and enhanced safety for drivers and passengers. Dove also introduced the Q6S W12 Limited sedan with production numbers of only 156 per month to start. Emerson Lego introduced the base model SC and SU trims, which is a first for the model. Each model has something different to offer our customers from cloth to leather, restyled interior dashboards and door trims to upgraded power and performance to name a few. This will be followed up by a more comprehensive collection of the Lego sedan and Air Micro sedan in 1941 with reimagined trims and performance.